Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There isn't a lot of stuff out there at the minute for me to react to. And I don't want to just be a guy that kind of reacts to stuff. I want to do different stuff. I just don't know what. You ever get that frustration in your life when you know you need to do something different, but you don't know what it is? Like with YouTube, it's very unforgiving. If you do something that people won't respond to, then it will just get buried and then your channel will end up performing badly because of that. So it's it's hard to know what to do. But I need to do something within the same vein as what I'm doing now, which is analog horrors and like, you know, in that horror genre. Maybe I could do like a video essay or something, but it's just I don't know what's on and it's very frustrating at the minute. That's why content has kind of been slowed down. There isn't a lot of stuff to react to out there. So if you guys have any suggestions or things you'd like to see from me, then let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to join my Discord, guys. I know I say it all the time, but it is down there in the description. There are things that are being submitted, but I wouldn't say that they're, they're... I like quality over just putting anything out randomly, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm ranting right now. Today, we're reacting to a channel called Stranger Danger. We've reacted to this channel in the past, a video called Vulnerable. And that video was part of a series called Bright Future. And it's a story about a guy who makes a cult. This woman joins a cult who's like 17 years old. She gets assaulted let's say has a kid uh, there's some very dark themes behind this and i'm guessing this is the second episode called communion so we're going to be watching this but be sure to join my discord guys if you haven't already before the video actually begins guys if you're new to my channel why not subscribe this is the majority of my content uh, but like i said i'm trying to branch out a little bit more i'm on a journey to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year and any help with that is greatly appreciated okay guys so this is called communion we're going to be watching most of the, the the series today they will be linked down below be sure to go check out stranger danger for what they are they deserve a lot more subscribers and a lot more views because it's very simplistic but it's very well done like it's got a good narrative to it it's got a good feel to it i always say the best things in life are usually the simplest things something that you can easily understand but something that is open-ended and you can kind of put your own thoughts into it therefore whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the lord guilty of the body and the blood of the lord corinthians eleven twenty seven. Now, when I think of Corinthians, I think of Sandman. Have you watched Sandman? I listened to the audio, the audio book from Neil Gaiman. It was really good. That got me through like that and American Gods got me through when I was wor working a retail job because I'd be just like packing stuff or whatever and I'd have that on in my ear. It was super good. But Corinthians, it was like, wow, in, in Sandman, it was a serial killer with like teeth for eyes. It was, it was super weird. I highly recommend you go check it out. Bright Future. This is Michael. Okay, we're back with Michael. A church he's leader. He's a cult leader. Oh, a cult leader. Okay, well, that's not what that's But that he's said. also a businessman. Okay. You see, Michael one day had an idea. And his idea was to stop violence. Mm. Such as bullying, murder, kidnapping. Right. Okay, oh, but not that one, because that one's already happened and to one- news. These okay. were all bad. And what better way to repent for these sins than with... Communion. Communion. Okay. That's when you break b bread. Eat bread and drink wine, right? The body of Christ and the blood of Christ. And so, Michael went out to buy bread and wine. Hmm. Sounds like a good night. Then Michael took it back to the church for communion. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling that it, this is going to be like that cult leader in the, uh, what, where was it called? I forgot what it's called. You know what I'm referring to. But if you guys watch like true crime stuff, you'll probably know what I'm referring to. I forgot what it's called. Jonestown. Is that what it was called? That was Once mad. Michael had all the church members gathered, it was time to recite in the partaking of the bread. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take, this is my body. So okay. then, everyone took their bread, and ate it. Yeah, good bread. There's now, nothing quite like the, like the smell of fresh bread, Michael guys. Went on to the reciting of the partaking in the wine. He took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. 
He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. I assure you that I won't drink wine again until that day when I drink it in a new way in God's kingdom. Okay. So then, everyone took their wine and drank it. Yay! I don't know why they're popping it like that. That's that's champagne that does that, but... Okay. It's going to be a Jonestown thing, isn't it? But a few minutes passed, one of the members felt sick. Yeah. This is a... Uh... Madness, cyanide, or whatever it was. This actually, this if you if if you're curious about stuff like this, guys, of something that actually happened like this, I believe it's called Jonestown. But seriously, only look it up if you have like because there's there's literally images of just like hundreds of deceased people. I mean hundreds, literally hundreds of deceased people. Damn. What the hell was that? Oh no. It appears Michael had accidentally put arsenic in the wine. Ag oh, that happens all the time. Good lord. Now everyone's... You know what's interesting about the, the Jonestown thing that I was talking about? Is that he made all the these kids and these women and these men drink cyanide or whatever it was. But he didn't drink, he shot himself in the head. That's how much of a pussy that guy was. Poor Michael. Now he's all alone. Hmm. How will he ever recover from this tragedy? Uh, Tiger King. Wait. Michael had another idea. Oh god, Michael, I think you should stop with your ideas, mate. Simply recruit more members. Oh good god. Take more precautions so this won't happen at communion yeah. ever again. Don't mix wine with then arsenic. Then continue preaching God. Use the money from the now past members to build a bigger church. And grow the community for the entire world to join. Mm. It was genius. And it's what the church members would have wanted. Yeah. Great thinking, Michael. Amazing, God Michael. will bless you and the church members. See, this is the thing, they actually think like this. See, this is a true man of God. Yeah. Here at Bright Future, we want everyone to be saved. Right, but... but Join us. You want them to be saved by, by killing them, basically. That's a very interesting way of saving people right there. Okay, so the next one is called Rings, Analog Horror. Here we go. BRI. BRI stands for Black Road Industries. Okay. And Black Road Industries is the number one technology company in America since 1955. And Black Road Industries has been creating their latest technological experiment called Rings. Mm hmm. It's our big brother. Rings are like eye contacts, but with tiny wires and connectors that can be sewn into anyone's eyes. Oh my god. What's this freaking Neuralink? Once sewn into your eyes, rings feed off your body's synapses and energies, creating your thoughts into manifestations. What? Hang on. Meaning your thoughts become a reality. Okay, well that's terrifying, because some of the things I think about, I just wouldn't want to be a reality, okay? You know, you get intrusive thoughts, okay? Imagine that, you get an intrusive thought and all of a sudden it becomes a reality. Rings also correspond with your emotions. Wait, what? Hang on, let me have a look at those emotions. Bullshitter, dreamer, visionary, creative, adventurous, energetic, kind, calm, speaker, informative, humorous, caring, vegetarian. Wait, what? Vegetarian is an emotion. Photogenic? That can't be right what that says. Calculative. Okay, interesting. Turning the color of your emotion when you activate the rings. Oh shit, okay, interesting. That this sounds terrifying. Is Jenna Lohan. She's five years Jenna old. Jenna Lohan. She's five. She is the daughter of Black Road CEO, Miguel Lohan. And okay. also the CEO's wife, Brie Lohan. Brie? Oh, okay, so Miguel is in Michael. This is Michael and Brie, and this is the daughter that she... Okay. And today, Jenna is in the testing room to test her ring abilities. And over the course of examining Jenna's ring behavior, 
The black road workers have noticed the typical colors of her rings to be purple, red, blue, and gray. Uh huh. Which what purple does that correspond to? Stands for fear. Mm hmm. Red stands for anger. Blue Angry. stands for sadness. Oh wow. And gray stands for neutrality. Damn, so she's either feeling sad, fearful, or angry. There's no, like, no positive emotions there. Damn. Sounds like me. With um, the rings, I'm, Jenna has been able to make up, herself disappear, create illusions of inanimate objects to the human eye, open what? doors without using her hands, and lastly, she's able to slice objects with her mind. Whoa, okay, hang on, slow down. You typically notice her rings are purple when her mother and father watch her on examining days. Meaning she is nervous when they watch. Yeah. Oh my god. Usually, this behavior happens most when Jenna's mother, Bree, watches. Mm hmm. Bree tries to encourage Jenna. She tells her that she can do it. She can make the teddy fly. Fly! But Jenna tells her mom that she can't. It's mm. too hard to make the teddy fly. Okay. This causes Bree to get mad. Hmm. Oh dear. Well. Do it, Jenna. Do it, Jenna. I Mama. I said. Do it, Jenna. I'm sorry, Mama. I can't do it. Right. What's happening? Is she gonna make a mum's head? Do it, Jenna, I can't. You watch, her head's gonna blow up. Look, she just made a teddy bear's head blow up. She's gonna make your head blow up. I She's can't. And... Yeah. But yeah, I knew that was happening. Right, so what? She's freaking Carrie or whatever her name is. Damn! Code 111. I repeat. Code 111. What's code 111? Had another ring accident. Another? Another ring accident. I'm sorry, Mama. Yeah, you will be. Your mum's dead. She gone, man. She gone. Well, rings are still a work in progress. Yeah, no shit. What? Well, so it's like they've also been tested. This on is like siblings, Richard Gen and Timothy Lohan. But oh, Richard! Of course, Richard was the Bree's son. All of them seem to keep having accidents. Oh my god! But that's okay because they're learning. Yeah, I'm. Me, I we'll guess so. We'll updated here at Black Road Industries. Black Road and Industries. Remember, technology is the next big thing. Yeah, no shit. And Until next time. Goodbye. Not to the point where you're freaking... You're creating these, like... What the hell? What you, it's like Stranger Things with those, like, test subjects. It's like that, but it's like an artificial version of that. Whereas, you know, Stranger Things, it was a natural-born gift, I guess. This is like something that you can you can wear and you can just blow people's heads up. That doesn't doesn't sound like a very good idea. Okay then guys, so the next video is called Power Hungry. And this is a very interesting, like I'm not sure where this is going. So it went from like a religious cult, and I don't know if Michael is probably behind this because Bree was there and Richard was there. So Michael is somewhere like I don't know if Mike Miguel is Michael. It's very interesting. You don't get rich writing science fiction. If you want to get rich, you start a religion. Um, yeah. Al Ron Hubbard. That, I mean, yeah. The other day, guys, I was in church praying for more money, and then this, this basket full of money just f fell into my lap. Ryan, stop it. Stealing jokes like that. How dare you? Disciples.
Oh Those god, are... okay, this is an actual other cult leader. I forgot what they're called, but the website's still actually up. Trying for this. to prepare themselves for entry. I mean, this guy just looks like a cult leader, doesn't he? Well, most cult leaders, they're meant to have like a bit of charisma about them. This guy straight up looks like Dr. Evil. Into the evolutionary level above human. Look at those freaking... If he like jumped off a cliff and started waving those ears, he would fly. Synonymous He's got wings on the, the side of his of head. God, the kingdom of heaven. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I forgot what that guy's called. Love bombing. Love Extreme bombing. Extreme charisma. A vulnerable person. This is the perfect recipe to create. A cult. A cult leader. Yeah. It could have been anything in this life. This is Michael. The cult leader. He's church. a cult leader. Yeah, church leader. Whatever. But he's a smart one. Mm hmm. You see, ever since Michael's existed, he always read the Bible. But this led to him having lots of questions. Yeah. To answer these questions, Michael would watch TV to see church leaders preaching the Word of God. Michael's questions were starting to receive answers. And because of this, Michael wanted to be like them. Interesting. As Michael continued to exist, he started out with small acts of kindness, mm -hmm. such as giving food to the hungry, helping the elderly, donating money to charity, giving okay. drinks to the thirsty. <laughs> okay, yeah, well. Yeah, you don't, don't always... He was a kind man. As Michael continued his small acts of kindness, he did some thinking and decided to make... A church. A cult. Uh, oh, okay. Well, Michael that too, had I guess. a decent amount of people he was preaching to, and the church was going great for a while. But it wasn't enough for Michael. What Michael truly wanted was mm -hmm. to rule the world. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, you know, it's the next relevant step, isn't it? Really, you met cult leader, rule the world. First, Michael needed to find someone to use as a pawn for his world domination. And okay. Michael's target demographic was people with no money, no place to stay, no purpose in life, and people who are easily persuaded. Right, well. And why these people? Because well, they're easy to manipulate. Because it's easier to persuade people who don't have anything to believe in yet. True. This is why, guys, it's super important to have a foundation when you're younger. A foundation of belief and love, okay? This is why parenting is essential. Yes, you can grow up with, with bad parents and stuff and still make something out of it, but there's a lot of people who don't have the foundation, so they feel empty in life. And then a person like a cult like Michael, let's say, comes along, makes them feel loved, makes them feel like they, they, they have a purpose in life and they follow them blindly because they're the first person who showed them any kind of love and interest. This is why it's super important to let the people in your life know that they are loved, and they are cared for, so they're not led easily astray by some just weird cult guy. Or just, you know, w people in general, they, they go off in a bad direction in life, you know. Someone makes them feel good about themselves. Next thing you know, they're shooting up heroin in an alleyway up their ass. This is why you need, you need a good foundation. You need good, solid friendship group, okay? I'm not talking, you don't need loads of friends. You need a good two or three friends. Just one friend actually will do it. Trust me, guys. You're worthy of love, okay? If you haven't heard that today, You've heard it now. You're worthy of love. It's James. He's 25. And James here has no purpose in life, no current okay. job, yeah. and no idea with what he's doing for his future. But little does well. James know that in 1985, mm -hmm. he will be the governor of New Jersey. Oh, damn. Okay. Fair enough. And why is this important? Well, it's important because in 1985, Michael will use purposeless James becoming governor as a pawn. Right. Okay. Michael will use James to create alliances. Okay, it's a bit of a leap, though. Let's be honest there. The, the leap from being having no hope, no future, no purpose or whatever, to governor of a state. New Jersey's a state, right? All 
over the world. But Michael knew that yeah, hang on, go back. all over the world. Okay, so there's this like a robot thing. So yeah, Michael is definitely in charge of that um that but technology Michael company. Knew that he couldn't save humanity on his own. Mm -hmm. He saw that society was too far gone in its wicked ways. Okay, I love how the the things that he personally done is like, oh no, these things are fine, but the rest of these things, oh how no. Michael wanted to change society. Mm. It was time to recycle humanity. Okay. So, by October 13th, 1985, Michael would already convince James Crawford to partner up with Miguel Lohan, ah. who was the CEO and founder of Black Road Industries, oh, here we go. America's number one technology brand. And okay. the two of them would come together to create a project called Project Blue Beam. Okay, what was Project Blue this Beam? was going to be the eradication of society to renew the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. So he's saving society by destroying society. That's just every villain's... Like, that's just Thanos, basically. From the old sinners making a new sin-free world. Okay. And there you have it. Michael was a smart cult leader. Yeah. Because he took someone small and used them as a pawn to create an even bigger pawn in the game Michael was playing called God. God. For the name Michael yeah. means who is like God. Is that true? So, Halloween night, October 31st, in 1985, okay. Project Blue Beam will launch. Which was, was Project Blue Beam? Are you ready? No. Join us. I'd rather not, mate. I'd rather, yeah, just... Okay, guys. Well, it's all making sense. I don't know how Michael did this. He went from being this preacher, making a small cult, and all of a sudden, he's he's in charge of the America's biggest technological company. That is insane. Project Bluebeam is going to be done on October 31st, which is also known as the Devil's Birthday, which is ironic as he's trying to play God. When describing Michael's life, the narrator said since he existed and not something like when he was a child, hinting he may actually be a supernatural entity or that he that could be how he views himself. Michael is the name of one of the angels in the Bible. Okay, guys, so the next video is called Watchers, and this one's 13 minutes long. You guys should definitely go check this series out for yourself. Go subscribe to Stranger Danger, like the videos, all that good stuff. Um, I, I wasn't aware that this was actually a whole series, but it's really good, for sure. It's got a good narrative to it. And I'm not sure how this kind of connects in with the rest of the story, but I guess we're going to be finding out. Here we go. Watches have been appearing more frequently around Point Pleasant, New Jersey, Reno, Nevada, and Los Angeles, California. Other locations yet to be confirmed. Watchers as in UFO. Not of this earth. Are we under surveillance? Do they want to probe us? No, they don't want to probe us. Are you sure they don't want to probe us? I hear they like sticking fingers in anuses. No, I don't think they want to do Please, tell me they do that. They, because I think it happened to me last night. No, they don't do that. But who the fuck put their finger up my ass? All right, Ryan, stop. What's wrong with you? Why do you do this? That, that's a, that was a straight up baby. Is that a real place? What the hell is that? That's a fetus. On September 20th last month, a power outage randomly occurred in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Mm. It all started with cars crashing in the middle of the streets, creating fires in the downtown area of Point Pleasant. Okay. The citizens were evacuating in havoc as chaos ensued everywhere. No explanation was given due to the power outage, but it was claimed that some locals saw something faint high in the sky, which has now been confirmed it was a plane crash. Oh, jeez. crashing in the nearby Pine Barrens. Is that real? But before it had crashed, a loud sound emitted from it sounding quite unworldly and not of a plane. 
Really? According to one Black Road industry worker, they had picked up the sound at their headquarters, and here today, we are sharing it with you. Okay. Well, they're going to share the sound? I'm stroking my... No, stop it, Ryan. Thank you, foreign. Damn, that's quite a chilling sound, isn't it, to hear? Was that what supposedly came af after or before the plane crash? But after the power outage, it was reported. Sarah and Jennifer Smith, age 45 and 15, last seen Slade Dale Drive, Point Pleasant, September 20th, 1985. Okay, so this was during the year that that James or whatever his name was became governor of New Jersey, right? Missing without a single trace. There's, it's definitely connected. Today, October 20th, one month after the incident, it's been stated that weird creatures have been sighted in the Pine Barrens. And the names given to these bizarre species are called Watchers. Interesting. Watchers. Got, give me those back rooms vibes. You know how um, Kane kind of mixed in the San Andreas fault or whatever it was with the creation of the back rooms and then kind of missing people started going missing. Kind of got that same vibe. Frogs are capable of appearing human like, but can easily distort their voices and body to the sound of a loved one to deceive you. They also can come in the form of an animal. Which I'm sorry, but how has it gone from a guy creating a freaking cult, right, to like, I don't know, somehow partnering up with this? T so what, the, this technological company, what, Project Bluebeam? Is this what this is? The they create aliens. Why they're given the name, Type 2. Air flies. Air flyers. Air flyers are 20 times bigger than the frogs. They appear in the shape of a disc and zoom quickly above the sky. But okay. But also can shape shift to distorted creatures just as frogs, but with more. Oh, like angels! Holy shit! Eyes and wings. We know more about. That's that's an angel. An that's a biblically biblically accurate angel right there. Flies. And we can currently say for certain both frogs and air flyers are under the name of watchers. Right. Okay, interesting. This, uh, this, this, I gotta say, this analog horror is, is picked up. I mean, it was really good to begin with, but it's like, it's actually got a, quite a good narrative going for it. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. UFO Man, 1975. Oh, God, do you guys remember that? Do you ever guys hear that sound? It was it Dolby Digital or whatever. You hear it like in a cinema and you're like, and your face is literally doing that because your skin's like trying to hold on the to your face. The last Jersey UFO sighting came from a man named Robin Wilkins and mm. his friend Maverick in the Pine Barrens, 1975. Robin stated Maverick was beamed into the air, screaming for his life before his body was sucked into the flying disc. Robin later moved into the Pine Barrens to look for answers over the past decade. Hmm. No further information has been provided. Okay, breaking news. Robin Wilkins, UFO man missing in action. Robin Wilkins, the man from the 1975 Jersey UFO encounter, has been MIA since the summer of 1975. Due to the recent havoc and plane incident in Point Pleasant, people are relating conspiracies from the odd sound in the sky to the UFO case. The reason is because Robin claimed he heard an Aldridge unworldly sound emit from the so-called UFO that has abducted that AHS abducted of his friend. Coincidence or hoax? We don't know. More information on News Jersey will be updating you within the next week. Governor and Black Road CEO sign major deal. As of last week, the citizens of Point Pleasant have started an upriot and protests against the infamous Governor James Crawford. He and Black Road Industries' unnamed CEO signed a disclosed deal for Halloween night next week, but this elaborate deal seems as if Governor Crawford is brushing 
all the disappearances and havoc damages of last month under a rug. He has not answered questions, simply deeming it as a power outage. Damn. It's a damn shame. Typical politicians, guys. Can't even give you a straightforward answer. Now, it makes sense, you know. This whole thing makes sense. Like, you get these governors. They're not actually in charge. They're just pawns in a game of someone else above them. That's, that's all the politicians are. The New World Order. Let me tell you something about the New World Order. These globalists. What's happening? Is that fire? No, they're just trees. Well, shit. Kristen! What the hell happened? Why do they sound like Undertale characters? This was... UFO Man? Oh. oh. Look at that cricket. It's a watcher. We're still looking into it. The chances are high. And they're, act they're already claiming this was a suicide. Well, his head's been decapitated. Well, we did some searching and found some prescriptions in his house. That could easily be used to overdose. Be best bet he was suicidal out here alone since a shotgun was also found beside him also. Alone, and who the hell called uh, some girl? Teenager, I recall. Did she give an alibi? No, sir. No, she seems frantic. Pretty sure others were with her in the background of the call. Probably some dumbasses screwing around out here during October. Which, I'm assuming found the guy... I'm assuming found the guy while exploring. Well, there were cameras in the house. But... But the tapes are gone. Gone? Someone may have taken them before we showed up. Pine Barrens is the hot spot for weird shit. No way in hell this was a suicide. So what's your guess? I'm confused. Is the dead person there? The UFO man. Someone murdered him. I thought he was missing in action. October 20th, 1985. The Lohan Residency, New Jersey. 8.45 p.m. Hang on a sec. Let me go back. Eight oh five p.m. 8.45 p.m. Okay. So this... Right, so 40 minutes after. God, that was horrifying. Is that Bree? What are you doing? Jeez, did you just get home? I could ask you the same thing. Oh yeah, she just walked through the door. God, you are such a helicopter parent. You know you're my responsibility. Whether you like it or not, you're under my rules. I'm 16. Not a toddler anymore. So you should learn to trust me. Oh yeah? Then where were you all day? With the gang at Jenkinson's. The U's. The U's? So why is blood on your skirt? Hmm, interesting. I'm a... Oh, God. Okay, wow. Mm-hmm. Well, did you hear the news? Keep me talking longer and I'll bleed all over you. Good God, that's disgusting. Dead body in the Pine Barrens over an hour ago. Point Pleasant Miners not allowed out after 8 p.m. Okay, hang on a sec. So this is the girl, I think, who was in the experiment... I believe, maybe, she made that her mum's head explode. So my guess is, is that she just made that guy's head explode. 
But what is she doing there in the first place? What? Yeah, so young lady, you're not allowed out no later than 7. But you just said 8 p.m. Don't care. And so let's say if with all the disappearances and the so-called Point Pleasant Reaper around town, you get home at 6.50. God, you're so scared of nothing. I've lived through shit you haven't. So don't start. I'm, who is this guy? All three of us have. Don't say you've been through more as if Tim and I didn't either. Just because you can't let go of our shitty childhoods doesn't mean I have to be punished for it. You do not want to go there, Jenna. Then why can't you admit... Admit what? That you're still mad at me for what happened. Okay, I'm guessing that is Michael. Maybe. Why are you being so difficult? I said admit it. You wish what happened would have happened to me instead of... Shut the hell up and go to your damn room. Right, so it was that Michael? I hate you. Interesting. Wow, glad we feel the same way. Damn. Richard. Oh, Richard. Richard, you know I didn't mean it. Go to sleep. Richard? What the f- Jenna? Jenna? <laughs> nuh <-uh. laughs> That's one way to react. Damn. Jenna. Go away. There's a lot of mimics in analog horror, isn't there? But I think if used efficiently, I is there I is there a horror film out there that uses the kind of uses mimics? In an effective way. I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't think of anything. Do I imagine it? Crap, it's late. I should get sleep to meet with the gang tomorrow. Everything has been so weird lately. I shit my pants. Uh. For I saw in the visions of my head as I lay in bed, and behold, a watcher. Daniel 4.13. What the frick, guys? What the actual frick? The scientists probably shouldn't have given traumatized children the ability to create whatever is in their head. Okay, so from what we've discovered, okay, so from what I can gather from that is that the, the corporation BlackRock or whatever it was called, what, what was it called? Black Road. So Black Road, which was uh, founded by Miguel, which is also kind of like being pawned by Michael, they invented these rings that can manifest your thoughts into realities. Meaning that, and for some reason, specific reason, Michael's children were test subjects of these rings. Now, Michael obviously has some kind of 
influence on what the child can manifest into the world. So for example, when she sees these flying UFOs that can change into angels, those things, uh, I'm guessing Michael is using his kids to manifest these creatures, these alien kind of creatures who are like angels who are r rapturing the earth of sinners so that they can create a, a whole society. Now, I'm not sure what happens earlier like with that guy's head ex i'm guessing she the girl had something to do with that guy's head exploding but hang on a sec let me just let me just uh clarify something here this was ufo man so so this person here was the person who went missing in 1975 but it's now 1985 was that a typo or was that meant to happen so these watchers were basically a manifestation of what these children created. And I'm guessing Michael kind of influenced that creation because he wanted to create a species of things that can wipe out humanity, but be pure minded to kind of follow orders or whatever. Because he wanted to rule the world, basically. And if he manages to control the person who controls these things, then he's in control of the world. It's a very confusing concept for sure. It's original. I'll give it that. Definitely. You guys should go check out Stranger Danger. Very good channel. Be sure to go like the videos, all that good stuff. Subscribe. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for me, pop them in the comments or join my Discord and pop them in the video suggestions idea. Or just send me something spooky in the Scarebass submission page. And if I react to it, I'll give you a shout out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Take care, guys.